everybody and welcome back to Aris Trains. My name's Corey and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at my brand new Menards freight cars that I got for Christmas. Forever so many of my fellow model train colleagues uh, here on YouTube have been doing reviews of Menards here and there and they've been constantly telling me, oh you gotta get this, this and that, like whatever, you're making them sound nice, they're probably not that good, you know. So I asked for a Delaware and Hudson boxcar because you guys know me, I love the D&H, Delaware and Hudson boxcar a DNH hopper, a little military army flat car with a little army ambulance on it. So Christmas came around the corner and to my surprise, I got all three. First, we're gonna do my Menards Delaware and Hudson box car. Now, when we take a look at this thing, it's pretty different from other standard box cars. The color scheme is a bit different. You usually never get black, yellow, and silver, which I actually think it's really nice. That's what drew my eye immediately to the box cars that different color scheme yet it fits you know it's not like ugly or anything I actually like it pretty well and I think the colors are pretty decent when we're going around the box car we can see that Menards actually put a lot of nice detail to it I love all the little decals the paint and the rivet looks really nice I love the do not hump that's really cool and I like the built 2020 by Menards because this is a 2020 made product that was released this year then of course the doors slide open. As we go to the top, we have a nice silver roof with a black walkway on top. As we move on to the underneath, it's all metal. The wheels are metal, the trucks are metal, the couplers are metal, the chassis is metal, and it has a, it has a decent little weight to it too, so that's good. I, I'm never really a fan of really light box carts because I just feel like they're kind of hard to put on a train, especially you can't put them up front if you have a long load because that'll cause it to derail, but a big box car like this that's nice and heavy and has some weight to it is really nice. And also uh, the number, as you can see, you can see a little bit of like a stamp on it almost below the number, 8120, and that's because every single box car that is made has a different number to it, which is really nice and a really good thing on Menard's part. The shell itself is made out of a pretty thick plastic, which I also like. It's not like Lionel MPC box cars again, where the plastic feels really light. This thing feels really good in your hands and the, and the just the whole weight of it and the construction of it feels really nice. My only one thing I wish Menard's could do, and I'm not really complaining about this, but it's just a little pointer, is that there's, unlike Lionel cars, where you have a little tab on the side to release the coupler, you have to to take the box car over and you have to flip on this little latch underneath which will release the coupler. I'm happy that that little latch is there but I just kind of wish it was on the side like a Lionel box car so I don't have to take this box car up, flip that little latch, put the box car back down. But otherwise that's a really nice box car. So next moving on we have the Menards DNH Hopper and this thing is very nice, again, I love all the decals on it, especially again, we have the custom number, because each and every car is slightly different with a different number, so mine's 75 to 64. Now this car is a lot lighter than the box car, that's because it doesn't really have a metal chassis underneath. It does have metal trucks, metal wheels, and metal couplers, but as we can see when going underneath it, there is no metal frame holding it. And then moving to the top is probably one of my favorite bits about this. Yeah, it's the regular top of a hopper, but you can open each and every one of these little latches, which is great, because this car only cost me $20. So that's a lot of good action for a brand new built Menards car with all of that good detail and action for only $20. And then again, this cup, this has the same system of the underneath coupler, but still, the trucks are very well built, and as long as the couplers and like just the whole trucks are built and the car itself will do well. I think this is a good hopper. And again, for the value, it's pretty nice. So then finally moving on to the last one, we have my United States Army Ambulance flat car with a little Army Ambulance on it. And the reason I got it is again, I wanted to make a military train, but I'm starting with this car because my grandmother and grandfather both during the Korean War worked at a hospital over in Japan. So they probably saw little ambulances a lot like this all the time. Plus, I think it'd be a fun way to honor their service via a little freight car. The flat car itself is much, much lighter than the hopper and the box car. This thing does have plastic trucks, but it does have metal wheels. The couplers themselves are also plastic, but they do have that little tab on the side I was talking about earlier, which makes it much easier to uncouple a car. On the top, we have really nice wood boards, and this is not actual wood, it's just colored plastic and stuff, but it's still really well made, and it really does make it look like an actual wooden flat car. And again, 
for only $20. This is pretty budget stuff, you know? This looks really good. And then, as we can see, is a really nice army ambulance. This thing looks great. I love all the little details on it. It's very well made. The vehicle itself is all die-cast metal, and there's a little screw on the bottom which holds it in. I'm personally probably going to put little chains in just to make it look like it's held on a little better, but still, this thing looks really nice. And then, if I don't want the little ambulance on it, I can just unscrew it and take it off and just have an empty flat car, put whatever I want on it. So, that's a really nice feature of Menards part. And again, $20, you're basically getting a freight car plus a free vehicle, but you guys probably don't know of the other side of Menards. So, with this flat car, they included a free Lionel van. So, for paying $20 for this car, you pretty much get two free vehicles in a sense. You get this die cast army ambulance and you get the little Lionel van. And now on the website, the van may look a little different from the listing. I thought it was gonna be a solid brown or bronze van, but it's actually meant to be a little rusty van in a sense, but it's off of the Frenchie's Lionel train house van, which looks super good. This thing is all die cast metal. The little decals all around it are all made of plastic, but this thing looks so sharp. And it's 148th, Some, most of my vehicles are 143rd, I believe that's the proper O scale, I can't quite remember, but still, this thing looks really nice, so I'll have it parked on my main street. So, in a sense, for $40, I've gotten two free Lionel vans, and then a little army hospital van, as well as two great working cars. I'm very happy, as a first time Menards customer, I thought all of it was, oh, oh, they're talking it up, but I see what they mean, and these things are really well quality, and I'm not, I'm not sponsored by Menards or anything, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm telling you guys, if you have a nice little scale layout, and if, you, if you're on the more budget side of trains, or if you wanna buy a bunch of bulk of Menards stuff, then go ahead, but I really recommend these cars. I think you guys would like them, and Menards, like, every few months is coming out with more and more different types of schemes. So they have like CSX, NS, BNSF, and they have tons of smaller railroads too, like Boston, Maine, DNH. See, I was about to say CP. CP is not small, but tons of other railroads like DT and I don't know. I could go on and on forever, but they have some really nice stuff. And yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this little short review. I'll leave it off for these cars running around the layout a few times, but I hope you guys like this and I'll see you guys in the next video. So stay tuned. Bye-bye.